all right so now i'll attempt uh, a braking test so and i'm doing it in glide mode which uh, so basically i'll do an 80 to 0 and thanks to the speedo error it would not be a real 80 to 0 but you'll at least get an idea about how this bike's braking is and i'll do two runs uh, right now the region is at its lowest then i'll put it at its highest and then repeat the test this is a heavy motorcycle and i'm a short guy as you know so let's hope when i stop it i don't drop it all right three two All right, let uh, let me quickly show you. So that's the pimple. It stopped quite closer to that pimple. Generally, bikes stop anywhere between those two strips or slightly ahead this one. So let's try one more with region at its highest so let's try again slightly better slightly better yes slightly better still uh, not great but then better than earlier and see the honest thing is uh, you know if I have to put motorcycles in three categories great average uh, below average honestly this would be uh, just around the below average mark in fact just in in fact this would uh, be uh, this would compel me to you know make four categories now okay uh, which would be uh, a bit you know between average and poor i would say okay so below average for sure but not poor poor would be you know exactly at that pimple or maybe even ahead uh, so yeah i'll push the bike and tell you a couple of more things about it All right. See, the honest thing is, now uh, there is a possibility that see. First of all, uh, this motorcycle is a media unit. This uh, has been doing the testing uh, rounds uh, for months, and uh, so yes, uh, you know this would have seen a lot of abuse uh, your personal bike would not see that kind of abuse but then my job is to review and my job is to test and ex show you exactly you know how the bike performs and uh, maintain absolute transparency so yes that was the result however as a responsible reviewer i should be also telling you that this is not a you know brand new bike that was given to me wherein you know i ran in the bike now of course this is not an ic engine bike 
uh, again i would don't want to digress too much but the point is when you run in the motorcycle okay any motorcycle for that matter you are not just doing it for the engine but you're bedding in the brakes you're bedding in the tires okay so that the tires grip okay and the brakes initially would not be as effective when they are new so you have to bed them in so uh, i uh, would stick my neck out and say that you know a brand new motorcycle like an owner's motorcycle okay uh, once of course the brakes and tires are uh, bedded in uh, uh, you know it would perform slightly better than it performed right now and i have to be 100% honest in the first run i uh, uh, you know did not give it my 100% in the second run i think i gave it like what 98% but that also would tell you that you know uh, there are there would be people who would be despite knowing that you know this bike has dual channel abs uh, you know uh, people are still hesitant in uh, applying full force okay see uh, non abs equipped motorcycle uh, you, you have to be really progressive with the brakes uh, you know there your expertise and finesse matters abs equipped bikes uh, you can uh, just you know go brutal on the brakes i did not do that uh, again uh, you know th that because i grew up and i i grew up riding non abs motorcycles uh all five of my motorcycles do not have abs so i uh, again that muscle memory you know kicks in uh, i i am progressive with the brakes so but then uh, you know i have to make a conscious effort that okay abs bike uh, just just you know apply full force on the brakes uh in the first one i did not do that uh, second one i would say that i did it uh, somewhere around 98% uh so yes the point is as long as the bike is absolutely straight uh, and it has dual channel abs you can you know apply full pressure on the brakes and the bike uh, you know uh, will break in time and uh, yeah i was honestly hoping that it would stop between these two strips uh, but then yes uh, the second uh, you know run was better and uh, yeah so again at the cost of repetition not great uh, not good uh, yeah so let let me uh, you know i'm thinking out loud let me define the four categories uh, great good average poor so this was somewhere around that average and below average mark not poor but somewhere around average and below average mark and uh, yeah let's hope that uh, you know the owners uh, motorcycles they perform better uh, but right now this is how things are so i hope you like the video and uh, if you did please do hit that like button do leave a comment and do subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you soon in the next one thank you so much for watching